what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Coronavirus is nowhere near gone. Why? Mainly because Americans can't sit their hot asses down somewhere. The number of positive cases continue to skyrocket all over the country. And we have a tangerine tornado in the White House who don't have a clue as to what the hell he's doing. As long as this dude can campaign, hold rallies, and fight for re-election, he don't give a damn if this motherfucker burns. Crazy thing is, if he had just found a way to get a grip on COVID-19 and lead America through this dastardly time, many people would have probably rewarded him by voting for him, thereby making this clown a two-term president. Had he successfully been able to navigate the country through this trying time, I think it probably would have been a slam dunk. Recently, Bill Gates and his wife, Melinda, spoke to Forbes about Donald Trump's egregious mishandling of the coronavirus pandemic. They sharply criticized him for continuing to blame China instead of healing America. But you know that's what Trump do. This sucker can't spell accountability. Well, he can't spell account or ability. Let's try to find some one-syllable words. Anyway, Melinda... Gates made it plain and simple that she wants black people to be among the first to get the vaccine when it's released. She said there are 60 million healthcare workers around the world and they deserve the vaccine first because they're the ones on the front lines dealing with this and trying to keep us all safe. And she said, then you have to start to tear from there based on the countries and the populations in the United States is going to be black people who really should get it first and many indigenous people, as well as people with underlying symptoms and then the elderly. Now, my question to you fam is, are you going to take the vaccine? Will you take it or Will you be like yours truly and fall back and watch what happens first? See how it responds or how it, how it affects the bodies of the other people who gets it first. I'm going to tell you straight out the gate, fam. I don't trust the gates. How can you be so for population control and then have so much love for the people that you're trying to, whose population you're trying to control. That's a contradiction to me. I mean, correct me fam, if I'm missing something, put me on the right track, you know, you know pull my coattail. Get me on the right track. Get me together, as the old folks like to say. Now, and I'll tell you something else, fam. Melinda looks like a man. I mean, I'm sorry. I had to say it. And I know, uh, you know, a lot of you were thinking the same thing. So I just said what you were thinking, like I typically do. It looks like a man. I really can't trust anything those two do. Bill Gates has 
eugenics running all through his blood. He has population control. I mean, he was, he was conditioned to promote population control. I don't trust him. For all I know, put that stuff in your body and all of a sudden you just go to sleep, never wake up. Or perhaps you turn into a zombie. It's a whole lot easier to control the people if you're controlling their minds, right? I'd rather take my chances with COVID-19. And I'll tell you something else, fam. The Gates, if you look at their record, they, they just come off as disingenuous. Like, it looks like that they're helping people, but all of the documentation and the people from the inside and even what I see from the outside tells me different. I do not trust them. And I'm gonna tell you something else. I don't trust people that smile that big. They are always grinning like ear to ear, them damn smiles like they know something we don't. Like they're up to something. I don't trust them. Bill, Melinda, if you want black folks to take that vaccine, you go first. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.